Hey guys, welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to see how to create payment automation in Go High Level. So uh, the use case could be you want to sell a product or you want to sell a service through Go High Level and you want to perform a few automation steps uh, based on when they purchase or based on if they purchase uh, that product or service. So I'll just give you an example. I'll just go to settings first because uh, if I go to integrations and if I go to Stripe, make sure you have an active payment gateway connected to your high level account. That's the first step to creating automation. Otherwise, the payment uh, is not going to work. So make sure you either connect Stripe or PayPal or authorize.net. Mostly use, uh, we, we mostly use Stripe. I hardly use any other payment gateways with high level because this connects with high level so easily. So just connect and then if you hit connect with stripe it's going to ask you to log in through the same browser and then click to authorize that's it it's a really simple process once you connect your stripe you can go to payments and you can go to products so whether you sell a product or a service in go high level those are known as products so just need to know you, know, you can create a new product uh, so if i want to sell google ads so i'm going to say google ads service uh, or maybe like a website. So I'll say website development. And I'll say I'm going to sell it for $1,000. And this is a one time fee, which is fine. Compare price. So I, I can say $1,299. And now, uh, so the main price is $1,299. And I'm selling it for uh, $1,000 on a 299 discount. But I can choose not to do that. As soon as you do it, just hit save. That's it. Okay, go back. Now, if I go to sites and if I go to forms, I want a form that people can fill out and they can just give their name, email, phone number, and the card details to purchase this website uh, or this website development service from me. So I'm going to create a new form, start from scratch. And this form, I'm going to call it like website development service and that's fine if i have it but i just need to add a one more step saying uh collect payment so click on this over here live mode of course and then you can just say sell product add product web development no need description no need image add product so the product i added thousand dollars i just added it to the form and this form can be sent to anyone really whoever wants to sell uh whoever wants to buy a website development service from me i can sell, send it to them uh alternatively i could just collect payment and then suggest them an amount i could just do a suggest payment saying the house a thousand dollars that's it but i do prefer um uh, this way by selling product so they just need to fill out the first name last name email phone number Collect payment and that's it. So I'm going to integrate this. Open form. Now, whoever fills out this form is going to purchase a website development service from me. And based on this product purchase, I can set up an automation. So I'll go back to automation. I'll create a workflow. So I just need to go to the right folder. And I'm going to say 10 product purchase automation i just need to add a workflow trigger called form submitted same old same old form is website development service so i know whoever submitted this form did purchase the website development service so based on this i can just assign to user because that's what i do in the beginning of the workflow and then i can just uh internal notification to me or myself saying that there's been a new product uh, sim serum sign user saying that new website development service purchase and I can say hi contact dot full name contact email just purchased a thousand dollar website there's just a notification 
and then I'll wait for a few seconds just like any other uh, workflow action a few seconds and then you can send them an email confirmation saying that hi thank you for the purchase uh, you know your purchase is confirmed hi first name thank you for your purchase uh, I will get back to you soon with questions regarding the website development test and you could also send an sms if you want you know so that's pretty much uh like that's how it works when you want to sell a product to someone or a service to someone that's one of the process of uh you know of, of selling the product and creating automation in the back end in high level for that so i'll publish it and i'll save it now because they purchased a product from your high level account high level is gonna i mean your white label high level is gonna uh, obviously send a receipt because you used stripe so by default it will send the person who purchased the website development service a receipt that they can download uh, you don't have to worry about that it takes care of it itself but if you want to add any more steps to it you can definitely do it now the form submitted trigger actually uh, activates this workflow whenever the, there's a form submission or there's a I mean there's a website development service purchase and that's how you basically create any uh, product purchase automation that's one of the ways you can also do an order form submission which we can look in a different video but yeah for, the, for now that should be it i hope this video was helpful and i will see you in the next one